the number of people who work in the public sector, in the public service, are approximately one million. But this country has up to about 20 million people who are employed. So it means we have up to around 18 to 19 million who are employed in the private sector. So it means if the private sector is given incentives, which includes tax rebates, they can be able to accommodate many more young people and give them the necessary skills uh, and experience, and therefore uh, the, the energy, the skills, and the knowledge in these young people can be properly utilized other than uh, the congestion that comes uh, with the opportunities that are available in the public uh, sector. Then one of the other observations, Honorable Speaker, we made was that the bill will cure the mischief of, of exploitation of professionals like teachers, doctors, lawyers, who currently are taken on as unpaid interns in the private sector to gain experience, yet are struggling to repay the loans taken during their schooling. Honorable Speaker, uh, there is a lot of exploitation. And uh, we are discussing this bill at a time when Teacher Service Commission has terminated services of up to 700 JSS teachers. And it is very unfortunate for Teacher Service Commission to do that to young people who are just trying to um, speak out and say about how unfair it is for them not to be absorbed in, in the, in the uh, teacher service, with the Teacher Service Commission. Honorable Speaker, when, when the intern doctors went on strike, they stayed away from work for over 50 days. And they were claiming for as high, or rather, they, are claim, they were claiming for an amount as high as 206,000. They were never fired. They were never interdicted. They remained employees. But JSS teachers who have been earning 17,000 shillings per month, when they speak out, TSC, TSC interdicts them. They have show cause letters right now as we speak. And I believe it is the time this Honorable House calls the CS for Education and the Teacher Service Commission to appear before this House and to explain as the reasons as to why they have to be very unfair to these young people who are just trying to speak out and, and fight for what rightfully belongs to them. So I believe this proposal this proposed legislation by, by the Honorable Naisula is going now to cure that because it will provide for how much these interns should earn. You can imagine those of us who are in Kenyatta University, and uh, several of us have been mentioned here. I don't want to repeat because you all know us. Yeah, I am told the deputy. Majority leader was in KU, but I never saw him. I never saw him there. Maybe he was there. You, you were too young to have seen him. <laughs> you were too young to have seen him. Don't, don't throw those stones. Go ahead. Yeah. 